five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> G'day and welcome back to the channel. This is my 1967-68 VE Valiant sedan. Most of you have seen it before. If you're new to the channel, it's probably the first time you've seen it. But I did a whole build series on this thing, which I'll um, put in the description below. Um, but yeah, it's just been sitting around for a long time. I haven't driven it for ages. It's running on about three cylinders. It needs some love. So today we're going to give it some love, some new spark plugs, the greasy engine, top up the fluids, give it a clean, do the tyre pressures, take it for a drive. It's long overdue. I haven't driven this car honestly for, I don't know, probably a year, more, maybe. So we'll do a bit of a walk around. I got this car off a good mate of mine, Lincoln Williams, who has his own channel. Um, I'll link that in the description as well. He dragged this out of a um, paddock in Tamworth a number of years ago and I got it off him and got it on the road and it's been a faithful old cruiser it's just awesome um, interior is not terrible you might recognize the seats if you're an Aussie a shifter and um, good old typical Valiant door squeak but instead of the old slant we have let me open this bonnet a nice little straight in out of I think a 78 cm which um, when it's tuned up she goes really well but she's in dire need of some love I have cracked um, valve covers on this side so I need to take them off because it leaks into the valley. I don't know if you can see the oil, oil in there. Um, so we'll replace that. I've got a spare one. I need to do the spark plugs, do the fluids. I know it's low on tranny fluid, it's low on brake fluid and battery clamp. I think that's actually in the car somewhere because I've been using this battery for other projects in and out. Um, so yeah, let's give this a degrees first and we'll go from there. Most of these plugs are cactus. and it's um, fouled the plugs up. I mean, they're old plugs, but it runs really, really rich. This carburetor's way over jetted, I think, for this um, motor. She's really, really rich. Hence the color of that. Check it out. So I dare say, if I was to get it really hot, it'd probably burn off, but let's put new ones in there.
guess the question is now, will it run? As Derek would say, bring the thunder. Low on the brake fluid. Let's take this raggy old Mopar for a rip around the block just to uh, warm it up, clear that engine bay out of the excess water come back and play with it a little bit more. It's been a long time since we've done this together, boys and girls. Lots of smoke coming off. What's going on? two reasons it's really heavy on fuel I've got to go really I've just got to get another carburetor for it I do have one put aside but I'm not, I don't want to put it on this um, that's going on the 57 um, and the other thing I've kind of lost interest in it because I've gone and got that um, two-door the VG hardtop and it's been the plan to get that thing sorted out and I don't need two of them so the you know really the sad thing is I guess um, but I can't keep them all and I have been getting rid of a few of my cars lately and just focusing on ones I really want to keep is this thing's going to go soon um, but I do want to enjoy it a bit more I hardly drive it and I used to drive it every day it was my daily for a while when it was on full rego now it's on club but she's a sweetheart of a car I don't know what sort of rattles you're picking up on the microphone but it's not that rattly really for a car that was dragged out of a paddock anyway. It's sure good being back in the old girl. I might even take it to footy training tonight. Oh, fuel. I've got to be careful. I don't know how much fuel I've got. I need to get up to the servo. smoke out the back. There's plenty 
good videos on this car if you go searching for them. There's a whole playlist for the build. There's a time I took it to Bathurst and relived the um, 1968 um, party for Roto 500 where the V D was uh, represented there. And I've got some photos in the same spots where some of the old historic photos were taken. That's a good video. I enjoyed making that. That was a while ago now. Um, yeah, I've had some good times in this thing. Still goes, still goes good. Got some poke. It just needs to be a bit leaner. What I should have done on this run was take it to the servo. Because I've just probably done that distance. And uh, I'm back home and the servo was in the opposite direction, so... Anyway, what do you do? What do you do? Let's see if that lift is um, quietened up now. Uh, it's still a little bit there. I reckon it'll sort, sort itself out. Listen to that thing purr. Nothing quite sounds like a V8 Mopar, I'm telling you right now. Pop the bonnet. So I think we'll quickly change this valve cover. It's split where it bolts on. You can see all the elastic I've put on there over the time. And there's already oil building up down here, so I need to get rid of it. We'll swap it over quickly. We'll give the thing a bit of a tub. And then we'll shoot up to the servo. Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks this and that Now guys, if you're washing your car with anything softer than a broom You're doing it wrong so sticky fast, I can roast, I can gas Think I'm okay or less, but I don't know if that can erase all the past Righto, so Wet your broom Little sprinkle of the good sauce on your broom, and that's all you need to do. In the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness. Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious. Mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior. Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words, you can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains that last. And to believe in what you got, it was built to last. Yeah. Now that I've been doing too well, I never got anyone's help. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness if you wanna Oh she's so shiny until she dries. Let's go to the servo. Righto. I've got a jerry can of some two-stroke racing fuel just in case we run out. And um, we'll head up, fill her up, do some tire pressures. footage of me filling up the thing on the side of the road with a jerry can and a funnel because it got to the servo all right put 50 bucks in it doesn't go a long way these days but um, it's nice to have this thing back on the road 
and um, definitely taking it to footy training tonight, give it a blat. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Little update on the Valiant. I thought I'd record it. A little bit of content. And I know you haven't seen this one for a while. She's been a faithful old car for many, many years. So anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you.